guys so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair it's been highly requested and I have a few secrets and tips I can share with you guys on what I do so like I showed you guys in my first um, video ever I am currently recovering from um, heat damage so my hair does not fully curl all the way so I have to kind of create the curls I want my hair to do does that make sense create the curls I want for my hair yeah so as you can tell the top part curls but the bottom part doesn't too much so it's kind of dead so um yeah I have a couple secrets and tips and I'm going to share with you guys the products that I use. It honestly never fails that I always seem to forget something when I record and this time I just forgot to describe the products that I'm currently using in the video and I'm just going to give you a quick overview on what I'm using and how I use it every single day. So to start off with I'm going to show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I'm currently using as an everyday shampoo and conditioner. These two are super affordable. I believe they're like $3.90 something at Walmart. And they leave my hair so shiny and they just give it such a good soft and it just honestly overall these two shampoo and conditioners have been the most affordable and have done the most work in my hair. I believe in order for you to have good healthy curly hair, moisturizing is moisturizing moisturizing is super key for your hair so I highly recommend these shampoo and conditioners next in the video before I start anything with these other Cantu products I always use a frizz ease in my hair this one's from John Frieda um, it smoothens and hydrates your hair. It tames all the curls. I always apply this before I do anything in my hair. Even if it's not this one, I have several other serums that I usually leave in my hair. Just because I feel like, in my opinion, uh, in order for you to conquer anything, you need to just make sure you leave good leave-in products in your hair. And I believe these are amazing for your hair and this is what controls the frizz because I have naturally super frizzy hair so this right here works very well in my hair after I use that frizz ease serum I used the leave-in conditioner repair cream which is also from Cantu I believe this is three something as well I can't off the top of my head but you can go to Walmart it's super affordable guys it literally leaves your hair nice and smooth it leaves your curls but it doesn't like crunch them it just gives it the forms and highly it moisturizes your hair it conditions your hair really well in order for you to leave in like a leave-in conditioner like it, it it does what it says it really works it's really well to me then after I use the leave-in conditioner I use a moisturizing curling activating cream but which it really works for me in my hair it all these three products when I'm going to leave it alone and not do much to it and just dry it up really quickly they all leave my hair super nice super shiny and minimal frizz of course your hair is still gonna frizz here and there because you have curly hair but guys these products these three products are very affordable and leave your hair super shiny which allow you to have the natural looking curly hair that you guys always see in my Instagram photos and in my videos okay so to start off, my hair is freshly washed. I just got out the shower and did my makeup. Um, so yeah, completely freshly washed. First thing, first thing that I put in my hair is uh, John Frieda Frizz Ease because I my hair is really frizzy. So if I don't put this in, it's a disaster. So the first thing I put on, a generous amount in my palm, and I am going to lather this through my entire hair. Okay, so second, I part my hair. And with the Cantu leave-in conditioner that I shared with you guys, um, 
I am going to start lathering it through my hair. I use a generous amount, you guys. Um, so don't be afraid. Then I always use the Moisturizer Curl Cream Activator from Cantoon. And like I told you guys, these products are really inexpensive. Like, you can literally get all your products, shampoo, conditioner, leave it, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and the curl activating cream for like probably like 20 bucks. Now that's not bad. In my opinion, that's not bad at all. Now with this one, I do not like lather it through like I do with the leave-in conditioner, but I do still put a generous amount all over my hair. Like you guys see in my heat damage recovery video, I do use a blow dryer in my hair. Um, and that's because, um, and if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. The quality isn't the greatest because I did get a new camera and new lighting. But it does explain a lot of different things on what I do for currently heat damage recovery. But, um, yeah, like I do use a blow dryer because it sets my hair. When you are still recovering from heat damage, your hair is not perfect. A lot of the things are still damaged in it. So in order for you to have that good curly hair and allow it to set in your like allow your hair to do what you want it to do, you have to tell it to do what you want it to do. Does that make sense? So I curl it, crunching it up. And as you can tell, all the bottom has more volume now. So I curl it, crunching it up, and then I blow dry it so it can stay like that. So I use a blow dryer on high at a very low settings. I mean, out of warm, and then I hit the cool button so it can be cold, cold air. Instead of hot air, you don't use any heat at all. You get it? Alright, let's do this. hair this is the final product after I blow dry it and it's all dried up um, but like I told you guys in the beginning of this video I do have a secret um, I actually created my own curly hair extensions so what it does um, is kind of replace the um, stringiness of the bottom of my hair because like I told you guys I'm still recovering from heat damage so the part, top part looks really good but the bottom part tends to die out by the end of the day. Um, it lasts me maybe a half a day before I start seeing it drop. But yeah, like as, like you guys can tell, like this part is not as curly as the top part. So what I did was I went to the hair store and I bought myself curly hair that matches my hair. And I just clip it on. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And if you guys would like a more in-depth video on how I make my curly hair extensions, please give this video a thumbs, a thumbs, a thumbs up, and let me know down below that you would like to see it. Um, because it's not hard at all, and it's going to save you a lot of money, guys. To start, let me just split my hair. I'm 
Okay, this is my bottom. And I actually have my extensions um, in layers. Um, and you can buy the hair like that. So I just clip it in like that. And yeah, it just saves you a lot of money, honestly, because... Honestly, I don't even know if curly hair extensions exist, but for my straight hair extensions, um, it saved me about $60 to $70 because you normally buy the extensions for about $100 to $200. So if you buy a package of human hair that matches your hair and you can get the clips, you can sew them on really quickly by yourself and you'll be able to have extensions for a lot less price. So if you'd like a video on that, please let me know down below. Um, there's no shame in my game. I'm able to show you guys what I do. Continue on with parting my hair. And I think, let me see. I have different sizes. So this is this piece. And you just clip it in. Clip it in, girlfriend. Clip it in. And you see, it blends in really good. Like, um, I hardly have ever told people that I had extensions in my hair. Not because I'm embarrassed of it or any way. But I wanted to share this on my channel. So, here it is, guys. Ow. So, while you're recovering from heat, you are giving yourself more of an illusion of curly hair in the midst of it all. And it will allow you to create a good hairstyle and you're not going to be like, you know, wanting to resort back to straightening your hair because I almost did. And then one on just this side, give my hair a little bit more volume. And voila, you see? It blends in really good. Um, the only thing that sucks is you know how when you want to kind of flip your hair in certain ways, it's a lot different than regular um, straight hair because it has more to it and you're going to feel it. It feels a lot heavier than straight hair extensions. But girl, it is worth it. You have beautiful, beautiful curly hair and it all looks yours. So why not? So now you guys know what I do to curl my hair. So um, it's not that hard. Um, like I said, let me know down below if you want a tutorial on how I do my extensions because I will be doing um, brand new ones soon. I think I've had these for like three months already. And because it's synthetic hair, I just want to do it a lot sooner than I would normally do it with my human hair. So, well, it's half synthetic, half human hair. So, I just want to do it a little bit sooner because I just want good looking curls. I don't want it to be all dried out and such. But yeah, guys, this is what the final look looks like. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below about the extensions if you want me to teach you how to do them. If you have any questions, please let me know. And... Like always, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel for many more videos coming up.